everybody and welcome to another day of fantastic mr fox so it's really getting interesting now i wonder what's going to happen today today we're reading two chapters so let's get going here's our chapters and so far we have read three farmers mr fox the shooting and we have read the terrible shovels so today that means we must be reading chapters five and chapter six so we're reading two chapters today the first one's called the terrible tractors and the next one's called the race so yesterday's one was called the terrible shovels and that's when they were digging to try and get the foxes today is called the terrible tractors so that might give you a little bit of a clue of what the story is about Shall we get started? The Terrible Tractors As the sun rose the next morning, Boggis and Bunce and Bean were still digging. Oh, they've been digging for a long time, haven't they? They had dug a hole so deep that you could have put a house in it. But they had not yet come to the end of the fox's tunnel, and they were very tired and cross. So they're two good words that they've used to describe how they're feeling they were tired and they were cross that's very two good words two good adjectives dang and blast said boris those rot whose rotten idea was this bean's idea said bunce Bo boggis and B bunce started at bean bean took another swig of his cider and then put the flask back in his pocket without offering it to the others listen he said angrily i want that fox I'm going to get that fox. I'm not giving up until I've strung him up over my porch as dead as a dumpling. We can't get him digging, that's for sure, said the fat boggis. I've had enough of digging. Bunce's little pot-bellied dwarf looked up at Bean and said, Have you got any more stupid ideas then? What, said Bean? I can't hear you, said Bean. Bean never took a bath and he never washed. As a result, his ear holes were clogged with all kinds of muck and wax and bits of chewing gum and dead flies and stuff like that. So if you look at the picture here, look, there's his ear and all sorts of horrible stuff that's coming out. Ooh, not nice. That made him deaf. Speak louder, he said to Bunce and Bunce shouted back. Got any more stupid ideas? Bean rubbed the back of his neck with a dirty finger. He had a boil coming there and it itched. We need, um, what we need on this job is machines, mechanical shovels. We'll have them out in five minutes with mechanical shovels. Mm, so what is a mechanical shovel? It gives you a clue. Here it says mechanical shovels. It gives you a clue in the title, which is terrible tractor so a tractor is something mechanical um which means that um it uses uh, um electricity and um power to run it and it where they would have to do it themselves it would be something mechanical so like a tractor or anything similar to that this was a pretty good idea and the other two had to admit it all right then said bean taking charge boggis you stay here and see the fox doesn't escape Bunce and I'll go off and fetch some machinery. If you try and get out, shoot him quick. The long, thin bean walked away. The tiny Bunce trotted after him. The fat boggis stayed where he was, his gun pointing at the foxhole. Mm. So we've got to um, the end of this page. And in this chapter so far, what we've got is that... The three farmers are really tired of digging and they're going to use some uh, machinery uh, like a tractor or a JCB or something to dig now instead. OK, but one of them is going to stay there in case the fox tries to escape. So actually, these three farmers, they have used their brains and they have thought about it because if they all three of them went, that wouldn't have been a good idea. Let's see what happens. Soon, two enormous caterpillar tractors with mecha mechanical shovels on the top front ends came clanking into the wood. Bean was driving one, Bunce the other. The machines were both black. They were murderous, brutal looking monsters. So here, what they're doing is they're describing the tractors, the, um, the enormous cat caterpillar tractors, 
as um, brutal and monsters. They're not really monsters, but they look kind of like a monster. So this looks like here, like the teeth of the monster chewing up the soil. So they have used a comparison. Here we go again, the sen shouted Bean. Death to the fox, shouted Bunce. The machines went to work, biting huge mouthfuls of soil out of the hill. The big tree under which Mr Fox dug his hole in the first place was toppled like a match sticks. On all sides, the rocks were sent flying and the trees were falling and the noise was deafening. Now, do you think the foxes can hear this? Before, the noise of them shoveling got quieter and quieter. But what about this? This is very loud. I think they can hear this. Down in the tunnel, the fox crouched and listened to the terrible clanging, banging overhead. What's happening, Dad? cried the small foxes. What are they doing? Mr Fox didn't know what was happening or what they were doing. It's an earthquake, cried Mrs Fox. Look, said one of the small foxes. Our tunnel got shorter. I can see daylight. Now, when the tunnel's getting shorter and they can see daylight, that means that the three farmers are getting... They're getting really close, aren't they? They're getting really close. They looked round, and yes, from the mouth of the tunnel, there were only a few feet away from them now, and in the circle of the daylight beyond, they could see two huge black tractors almost on top of them. Tractors! shouted Mr Fox. And mechanical shovels! Dig! For your life! Dig! 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 So the farmers are clever because they've bought um, mechanical tractors, as Mr Fox calls them, to dig. And they can dig a lot faster than the three farmers. And they're getting really, really close to the foxes. <gasps> what is going to happen? Don't worry, we've still got more story left today. This chapter is called The Race. This is chapter number six. And I would say thinking about it. There's a race going on. Now, they're not starting like on sports day and finishing and running down the farmers and the fox. This is a race to who can the farmers get to the fox first or can the fox escape first? So it's a race going on. Who is quicker? Because whoever's quicker is going to win the race. If the fox is quicker, he's going to escape. If the farmers are quicker, then they're going to catch the foxes. So the race is on. <gasps> oh, it's very exciting. Now there began a desperate race the machines against the foxes in the beginning the hill looked like this so this is the beginning this is what the hill like looked like you can see plants and things like that it's quite tall after about an hour as the machines bit away more and more of the soil from the hilltops it looked like this now as you can see now there's a big dip there now which there wasn't before so you can see it only one hour they have managed to dig away a lot of the soil. Sometimes the foxes would gain a little ground and the clanky noises would grow fainter and Mr Fox would say, we're going to make it, I'm sure we are. But then a few minutes later, the machines would come back and they would crunch out the mighty shovels, would get louder and louder. Only the foxes actually saw, once the foxes actually saw the sharp metal edge of one of the shovels that scraped the earth just behind them. So if you imagine the race, here we go. Start off with the foxes are a little bit ahead. But, but what happens is the foxes go ahead and the machines come back. The foxes go ahead and the machines come back. So when the foxes are ahead, the noise is more faint. But when the machines come back, the noise is louder. And even once, they were nearly on top of each other. <gasps> For all these poor family of foxes, I do hope they get away. Let's keep reading. Keep going, my darlings, panted Mr Fox. Don't give up. Keep going, the fat bogger shouted out to Bunce and Bean. We'll get them any moment now. Have you caught sight of him yet, Bean called back? Not yet, shouted Boggus, but I think you're close. I'll pick up, I'll pick up, um, I'll pick him up with my bucket, shouted Bunce. I'll chop him to pieces. But by lunchtime, the machines were still at it. And so were the four, po fo four poor foxes. The hill now looked like this. So if you have a look, the hill is now, look, there's a massive, it was up here before, and now all this bit here is gone. So they have actually managed to chew away a lot of the, um, the soil and um, mud. 
The farmers didn't stop for lunch. They were too keen to finish the job. Hey there, Mr Fox, yelled Bunce, leaning out of his tractor. We're coming to get you now. You've had your last chicken, yelled Boggus. We'll never come pr- you'll, you'll never come prowling around my farm again. All sort of madness had taken over a uh, hold of the three men. The tall, skinny bean and the dwarf pot-bellied bunts were driving their machines like maniacs, racing the motors and making the shovels dig at terrific speed. Fat Bogus was hoping, was hopping around like a devilish um, d- dervish and shouting, faster, faster! By five o'clock in the afternoon, this had what, ha- what this is what had happened to the hill. So look at this picture. You've got a bit there, but look now, it's really, really deep now. Imagine the hill was up here to start off with. So all this bit here they've cut out, um, they've dug out, and it's a lot. So they really have dug deep now. We have got one more page left. Ooh, and then we'll have to wait till tomorrow. The hole that the machines had dug was like a crater of a volcano. It was such an extraordinary sight that people came rushing from out of the farm and the surrounding villages to have a look. They stood at the edge of the crater and stared down at Bogus, Bunce and Bean. Hey there, Bogus, what's going on? We're after the fox. Oh, you must be mad. The people jeered and laughed, which means they pointed and laughed. But this only made the three farmers more furious and more obstinate and more determined than ever not to give up until they had caught the fox. Wow. So let's have a look at this. There's some words in there that are a little bit tricky. So we talked about the word jeered. So people are pointing at the farmers and laughing and jeering at them. And it makes them feel furious, obstinate and determined. Now. Let's have a look. What do you think that means? If they're furious now and they're really determined, that means they're really cross and they want more than ever to catch the foxes. They're not just going to give up. They're really determined. They're not going to give up and they will catch the foxes. So what is going to happen next? Well, what is going to happen next? This is exciting. The, the farmers are really determined and they don't want to give up, but the foxes obviously don't want to get caught. So the race is still on. Who is going to get um, ahead and who is is Mr. Fox going to escape, do you think? Or do you think the foxes are going to get caught? Do you think the farmers are going to win? <gasps> well, we're unfortunately going to have to wait till tomorrow for this. But tomorrow will be really exciting and I hope we get some more answers tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the story today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.